Welcome to Triple Trouble. My name is Chef. I'm Steve. And we are going to put together the whole new uh, Formula X with Velo's news. So, here we have a brand new pair of the 2019 Hoy products. And we're going to set it up and show you the basics. And for uh, more specific tuning videos, please keep following this uh, YouTube page to see what's going on. We're just going to start with the Verda tune. With the um, Hoyt Formula X, you get three different plates. I always use the middle one, but you can decide what you like the most. So we're just going to cut it up. And with the vertitune, you're also going to need the backing plate. You need the screw and the ring. Let's start with this. So I'm going to put it together. It fits like a glove. I always put the plunger in before I tighten the screw, it's just a pro tip. Then you have your uh, hole from the backing plate and your further tuning exactly in line. Pro tips with Steve Lightman. For this whole bow I'm going to use this Allen key set of biter because you have everything in one hand, it's a great feature. Just tighten it a little, you don't have to break it. So this is the first step. Now we're gonna put on the arrow rest. I choose the Shibuya one because it's very easy to use and it's just very durable. But before we can put this on, we have to take some acetone or whatever you need to clean the riser. Yeah. So that's the first step. But before you put it on, just take your plunger off, so you cannot break it. That's nice and clean, so we don't need this. I always put the plunger in before I put the rest on, so I can align it a bit with the hole in the rest. For the people who are wondering, uh, this device is called a rip clutch by Biter, and it's a great tool to uh, work on your bow because you can uh, turn it in all the ways. Um, I think Steve will, if he puts his arrow rest on, I think it's nice to put the bow flat so you can really see what you're doing. Yeah. The great feature of this stand is that you can turn your bow around because there are grooves in it and you don't have to uh, undo this or put it in a different way. So I just put it in a flat way and I'm gonna put the rest on. Before we're going to move on, I always start with tighten all the screws that this bow has. So I'm going to start with these screws and I'm going to undo the pivot screw. If you want to see a full and complete video about limb alignment, uh, stay tuned. We're on our way with a complete tuning uh, series on uh, how to tune your bow. Exactly. So now I'm going to start with putting the tiller bolts six turns out because I know when I shoot a 46 pound limb it's going to be around 50 pounds when it's uh, six turns out. To do this you need two Allen keys. Why do you need two Steve? Because when you want to tighten the screw you really make sure you lock it with both screws at the same time. Yeah. So to make sure that the tiller bolt doesn't move you uh hold one in the tiller bolt and then you undo the, the locking screw and the other way around. So if you are locking the tiller bolt, you want to make sure that the tiller bolt doesn't move and you want to keep it stable with another Allen wrench. Exactly. So I just put it all the way in and now I'm going to turn it six turns up. This is one, two, and six. That's it. 
and then you're just gonna turn it a bit faster that it's not gonna move anywhere. The same thing on the bottom. Now I'm gonna put the limbs in, put a string on it, and see where we're at right now. Always use a bow string on when you want to put the string on the first time. And I should recommend to use it always. So, we have a new bow. I'm gonna check everything if it's alright. Uh, do you want to know more about this, uh, what his tailor is, what his brace height is and what it should be? Uh, please stay tuned on his YouTube channel, we'll have a, a video about this as well in our tuning series. Now I want to know how much poundage should I get out of my bow, but before I can measure it, I need to put a clicker on and I'm going to put a knocking point on, so I can see where my arrow has to be. As you can see, Steve has the, the new slate color. Uh, I think it's one of the ni nicest colors that they have in their lineup right now. It, uh, it looks different in every light condition, so it's, uh, it's a really, really cool color. So now I want to know what punch that I have. So I'm going to put an arrow on. So it's 50, exactly. So Steve, what's the next step? Uh, I'm gonna see if my limbs are aligned and why that has a great tool for it. Those yellow blocks that everyone knows. The limb, limb line gauge. Steve has fully set up his bow. Um, that was it for this video. I uh, hope you learned something. I hope you find it useful. So leave a like if you like this video. Uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos. Leave, let us know what you want to see. And uh, for now, see you next time. Cheers. Bye. So one, two, <laughs> This is great because you have everything in one hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it. <laughs>